Hello guys, it's Sharif here with Engadget. I'm holding um, the uh, reference device made by Samsung and given out to developers who are developing apps for Tizen and specifically Tizen 2.0. So uh, it feels like um, a 4.7 inch device. I'm told it has a 1280 by 720 screen. And um, let's let's take you on a quick tour of the the interface. So if I if I close it, turn it on. So this is our lock screen. I unlock like that. It takes me to my home screen. I only have one page of apps. This OS, unlike Firefox for example, this OS can do native apps, web apps, and also apps that are a mixture of the two. This should be very familiar. Pull down from the top. This would be where my notifications are. Uh, a Samsung thing here to give me quick access to brightness and uh, I can also access settings from this pull down. Here we go. Uh, I think, uh, so here we go, device PQ. That's the name of the device so far, reference device. If I return to the home, another screen that's here, there's only one navigation button and that's your home button, but if I press and hold it, I come to a multitasking screen so I can have quick access to some of the apps that are running and I can also shut them. So um, we may as well look at some of these apps then. So if I tap on camera, we have burst mode which is going on at the moment. So a relatively um, well stocked camera app with lots of different settings, very much a smartphone camera app quite complex and, and uh, well, full featured. If I go back, let's look at uh, the, the browser running here. So I've got tabs down here, favorites, some settings here, another way of accessing brightness, bookmarks, tap home again. What I'd like to check out actually is the keyboard, the on-screen keyboard. So let's go into the email app. Oh, it wants me to set up an account. I'm not going to do that, but at least we can have a look at the keyboard. Uh, yeah, a kind of Samsung-looking keyboard here with my symbols for, uh, with a long press and my numbers with a long press. Let's give it a quick tap. Let's type out my email. Not bad. Kind of familiar. So there's your on-screen keyboard. And uh, here's an example of a web app. So one of the, uh, non, the probably the only non-stop app on here currently is Vimeo for Tizen. And this is an example of an app that is mostly a web app built around HTML5. But um, when you click onto a video and you run a video, it'll use the native um, video acceleration within the chip. So that's an example of something, you know, Firefox doesn't do so much. Firefox doesn't really have the native layer, whereas apps built for Tizen, they can be more fully featured and they can have that native layer. I think I've got bad connectivity now, so uh, this might not load up, but there we go. It serves the purpose of at least showing you what developers are working with as they start to code for this new operating system, which now includes the Bada OS 2. Thank you for watching.